Hey guys! So if you've been a digital artist for a while, you've probably come across the problem of, you know, you being in the middle of your work or project and then suddenly your art program just bails and whatever you're working on is gone. Maybe you forgot to save in a while, which is kind of a problem. It's kind of a big issue. So if that is an issue you're currently dealing with, this is how to recover those files. I'm going to be going over how to recover your autosave files from Clip Studio Paint and Fire Alpaca because those are the two programs that I've used that have the autosave function. Um, so first we're going to go over Fire Alpaca because it is a lot easier to find the autosave work there. So I have Fire Alpaca open. All you have to do is go up to the help tab up here. Click that. The last tab says open configuration folder. Click on that. And then you'll see right here it's going to say auto save backup, double click on that. And here we are. And you'll see, I just downloaded fire alpaca to show you guys how to do this, but I have three different files that I quote unquote worked on. Um, the last, the third one is the real was the real tester. So I found out that fire alpaca will auto save on top of each other. I don't know how to explain this. Each one of these are separate files. They were not all from the same project. Um, so when it auto saves, it replaces the last one. Um, I'm only mentioning this because Clip Studio Paint does it differently. If you're not sure that Fire Alpaca is auto saving your work, all you got to do is go to the file tab, click on environment settings, and then you'll see right here, it has the auto save option right here. And then I have my check marked to enable auto save function. So that's how I know it's going to auto save. I'm not exactly sure how often it auto saves, um, but I I kept checking continuously while working on my doodle and it saved pretty often. I was actually pretty impressed. Um, so yeah, that's how you find your lost auto saved files on Fire Alpaca. So for Clip Studio Paint, you don't actually have to have Clip Studio Paint open, but you do have to go to your files and then go to documents and you'll see right here. Um, I don't know what this stands for. Cell C that cell C C E L S Y S. It's probably an abbreviation for something. Double click on that. And then you'll see all of these <laughs> files. This is why I did fire alpaca first, cause it's a lot easier. Um, so when you find all these files, go to clip studio paint data, double click on that. And then there are three different like recovery folders. The one that has the most recovery folder or files will be document backup. Double click on that. And mine shows up as a detail list. But if I just go to view and then go to extra large icons, you can see that unlike Fire Alpaca, it saves, it auto saves like different files. So you'll see like just the head, head, hand. This is a completely different picture. Um, yeah, just different stages of the line art and then the coloring. Um, and for Clip Studio Paint to check if that is being auto-saved, you do have to open Clip Studio Paint for that. <laughs> so let me open that. And then you go up to File and you go to Preferences. Click on that. Go to File right here on this very long list. It's going to be towards the bottom. And it's the very first thing at top, at least for me where it says restore, enable canvas recovery, saving interval for restoration info, and mine is saving every 15 minutes. Uh, you can adjust that to, I think you can go up to an hour or so. I suggest you do, you know, like <laughs> 10 to 20 minutes very often, just because, I mean, depending on how much work you get done in that amount of time, adjust it to whatever would work best for you. Um, so yeah, that's how you know your autosave is working or is being enabled. And yeah, so that's how you go to your recovery files. And that's the end of that video. Something quick and short and hopefully really helpful to you guys. If any of you guys that are watching use a different art program that also auto saves, um, please leave the method of getting to those recovery files in the comments down below, just in case any of the other watchers are looking for that information as well. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please be good outlets and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!